stalking, petty theft, and messing with the utility meter got him arrested? Col Colorado. Gotta take the glasses off. Colorado. What in the hell are you doing? You can arrest this young man for that, but not nobody else for what they're doing? Are, are you trying to embarrass us? Hey, thank you for watching Power to the Pie, where we're committed to an intellectual integrity and a moral honesty. I'm your host, Superior, and once again, thank you for watching. Now, in this video, we're, I, I want to talk about what the hell is going on in my city, in, in, in my backyard, Colorado, and, and this is happening in El Paso, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure if you guys haven't heard this story, um, we're, we're, we're gonna watch a video that kind of you know, gives a, a, a scope of it. And then we're going to dig a little deeper into it with some details, but <laughs> an overview just real quick. If policing, and, and I probably said this P word a million times in the past two weeks, policing needs to step they damn game up. That's it. That, that, that's simple. Step you game up and people's lives will be so much easier. Reinforce the rules equally with everybody. Black, white, Mexican, Asian, Indian, it don't matter. Woman, man, tall, short, fat, skinny, anything in between. It doesn't matter if policing would do their job halfway better. Situations like this wouldn't happen. And, and when situations like this happen, you know, like people always accuse people like me of always race baiting and, and, and always want to talk about, you know, uh, color and always feeling like a victim and this and this and this. But when you see a situation like this and you take color out of it, you'd be like, well, you know, person A, B and C harassed and and killed their livestock and threatened them and, and, and did all this horrendous thing, stalking uh, uh, person D so person A, B and C should meet, you know, have consequences, go to jail, do something, police investigate, do something. We get it. But then if you add color to it, some logical people be like, well, this is weird because now they burned their black lives matter flag. I mean, that's already a racial uh, a statement against that. Um, they wrote uh, 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 racist slurs on their livestock. Like, I try not to add color into these situations, but it's like, it's 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 in my face. I, I, I can't see beyond this, this racist, BS right here. Do, do you see what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and, and watch uh, 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 Denver News channel and see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go. Tonight, Fox 31 trying to get to the bottom of a viral controversy in El Paso County involving a black rancher claiming to be terrorized by his white neighbors and others in the predominantly white neighborhood. And the allegations involve trespassing, vandalism, racial slurs, brandishing weapons and animal cruelty. And the story taking another twist yesterday when that rancher was arrested. Fox 31's mm. Talia Cunningham has been working this story for weeks now. Arrested. Joins us now with what she's been learning from both sides tonight, Talia. Well, Erica, Jeremy, Courtney, Mallory and his wife, Nicole, were displaced in Hurricane Harvey, moving to El Paso County to start a new life. So their American dream quickly turned into a nightmare for them, telling me they've been harassed, chased, had their animals mutilated, and even more. Things <laughs> escalating in recent weeks as they become more vocal online. So I talked to Courtney about three weeks ago before he was arrested, and he told me that he feared for his life. Now, we do want to warn you at home that some of this content may be considered graphic. I'm being arrested. Early Monday morning, Courtney Mallory was taken into custody. Farming while black in America. The rancher's story, one that's taken over social media. We don't want to become a hashtag. Nicole, mm. a Marine, and her husband don't bought Freedom Acres Ranch in 2020. The couple claiming they face repeated acts of domestic terrorism by white residents on their own property. They say their dogs have been poisoned. Mm. Numerous farm animals have been slaughtered and gutted. Residents have been trespassing on their land, running over fence posts, 
burning their Black Lives Matter flags, spray painting racial slurs on their land, even waving guns at them. Photos show unknown vehicles blocking the couple's property and parking on their land. Even social media posts inquiring about pitchforks and fire sticks. Lynching us, bringing a lynching mob, having a public hanging, um, fire, they were wanted to lock us in and set us ablaze. Mallory said they've called the sheriff's office. Okay, now, they called the sheriff's office. Normally, a reasonable, understanding individual would be like, hey, this is a closed case here. Uh, it, it seems like it was a nice amount of proof to at least, at the least, start a real investigation. You know, question some people. Figure out a motive, maybe. I mean, the the flag, the the Black Lives Matter flag didn't burn itself. You know, the cow didn't write racial slur on himself. You know, the pig didn't, you know, write the N word on the cow. Like, maybe, maybe I'm jumping the gun here. May, let's listen to see what 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 transpired with all the complaints and the, and the, and the calling the 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 sheriffs and the police department. Let's listen to what happened office countless times over the last two years, but have gotten no action or thorough investigations. Wow. It is in, in fact El Paso County Sheriff's Office that is the main reason that we do not feel safe on our property. The Sheriff's Office says they've investigated 19 different complaints and have responded to over 170 calls for service <laughs> at Freedom Acres. In a statement, they claim the office vehemently denies all these allegations. We're watching. Mm. The world is watching get it right now a coalition Ooh. pushing for hey, so hey 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 i don't know about you but i got a little goosebumps when he says that hey we watching the world is watching get this sh straight that's simple you got one job we all know your job hey we probably know your job better than you get this straight youtube it if you got to read your manual figure out what you need to do Denver, Col Colorado, you look ridiculous right now. Get your s together here. Figure something out. It ain't that hard. Social justice and the couple's safety, including the NAACP. That's ridiculous. You know, at the end of the day, law enforcement should show up for everyone. The mm -hmm. National Association of Real Estate Brokers. This is a direct violation of the Fair Housing Act and the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Colorado Holiday Commission. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Courtney was arrested yesterday, charged with stalking, petty theft, and tampering with the utility. So, <laughs> stalking, petty theft, and messing with the utility meter got him arrested? Col Colorado, gotta take the glasses off. Colorado, what in the hell are you doing? You can arrest this young man for that, but not nobody else for what they're doing. Are, are you trying to embarrass us? Are you that incompetent with your job? Bro. Figure something out. This is not... I mean, it is it's a lot of racist pockets in Colorado. So I'm not going to say this is how Colorado is not supposed to be acting. But everybody, everybody's watching. What are you going to do? Huh? Meter. His wife charged with the same crimes. Now she paid a $2,000 bond and was released. However, Courtney was not. It looks like a bait and switch. Activists and concerned citizens demanding answers last night, gathering at the detention center, conducting their own welfare check. Courtney <laughs> appeared before a judge today, and his bond was increased to $6,000 and was paid for by the NAACP. He six, six thousand. That's right, six. Okay. Travel in, in, into this uh, uh, example of mine. Okay, let's, let's take a field trip here. Can you imagine if he didn't have the he he didn't have the backing he didn't have the people uh, supporting him the NAACP let's say he didn't have that let's say he didn't have the six thousand dollars he just had enough to get his wife out okay nobody wants to be in prison nobody wants to be in jail we get it he has enough to get his wife out 
And what the 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 broadcaster lady did say was it was what two thousand or three thousand uh do, uh bail before, and then when he seen the judge, it bumped up to six thousand. Why? And can you imagine if he didn't have the money to get out, his wife would be alone? Can you can you just fathom the fear in both of them? He's sitting in jail and she's sitting at home with whatever the hell is going on over there. Is that fair? This is why we need reform. This is why we need not only policing reform, but we need uh, uh, judicial reform across the board. Because it's, it's so, 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 so much. <laughs> $6,000 for tampering with, with a meter. And, start, and he's been uh, uh, harassed and treated way harsher uh, uh, from the people living around him. But he's getting it. Boy. Once again, I, I don't want to keep using race, but this just seems a little weird to me. It just seems a little weird, like a little unbalanced, maybe like one group is getting a little favored than the other. Like, I don't know. I don't know. He should be out of jail at this hour. And I actually just received the text. Courtney is, in fact, out of jail tonight. We've also learned that his neighbor was arrested last year for violating a restraining order that he took out against her. And surprisingly, those same neighbors filed a restraining order this morning against Courtney. There is a lot of ongoing and previous protective orders out at this time between these two neighbors. Of course, this is a story we will continue to follow right here on Fox 31. Erica. So one thing we we have to understand, OK, and, and, and this is this, this is happening close to home here. We need to make sure that one, they are protected. They they live hundreds, hundreds of miles away from me. Um, I, I'm not sure if, if anyone here is going to be watching this. But with but whatever we can do, need to do, but they need to stay protected by any means necessary. Because once again, seeing situations similar to this for the past, you know, three, four years since I really been engaging in locked in situations like this, the police will be called more than one time, more than five times, more than 10 times over situations similar to this. And then in, until then, until somebody gets extremely hurt or killed, then all of a sudden police's, and detectives want to do their job after the matter, after the after the fact, after the, the beating or, or the murder or, or close to murder has already transpired. Then these uh, police departments want to send out, you know, uh, 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 statements. Oh, now we're going to do a full investigation and, and, and look deep into this. We we've been monitoring this situation for this amount of long, and 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 this person had this record, but for whatever reason, we never acted upon it. Just like, uh, 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 uh what what's her name, Nicole? Just like his uh, Courtney's wife said, she doesn't want to be no hashtag. I'm sure she doesn't want to be on a shirt. She doesn't want to be in the next rap song. She doesn't want to be in the next, you know, remember a song. She doesn't want to be in the next video. We need our police, Colorado police, to do their job. Get this resolved. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to join the conversation by subscribing. Make sure to tune in next time, and like always, power to you, power to me. Power to the people, power to the pod.